Hi again, this is Echo X, and now I'm going to go over control arrays. Um, so what we have here is I have a standard EXE, and for what we can see, this is the Form 1. Um, and what I'm going to do is create just a button, and I'm going to explain what a control array is. Um, earlier I was going over arrays, and what they really are is it's, it's like one variable inside the memory, but there's many different elements. Um, watching this video, you'll kind of understand, instead of just looking at code, what what it would look like m imagining it. Um, so, for instance, we have one button here, and with the control array, um, since it's an array, we're going to have different elements. Um, normally, a control array is going to start at zero, but you can start from any number, I believe, to, I think it's the limited number might be 65,535, I cannot remember. Um, view code. I believe the restriction is from 0 to 6535. Now if I'm wrong on that, uh, sorry about that, but I'm just quickly going through this. At least you know that there is some kind of limitation when it comes to control arrays. Um, so that's going to be the amount of buttons um, within the number. Um, so what we're going to do here Let's go ahead and add another button, excuse me. We're going to copy and paste this. Copy, paste. Now, first thing it's going to ask is do you want to create a control array? Well, you could say yes. Now, control array means they're going to be the same name. So, see how it says Command 1 here, Command 1 here. But when you go down to index, it has a number. If it has a number, it is part of a control array. This one is 1. You can see right here is parentheses 1. This one over here should be 0, which in fact it does. Now, I'm going to name these with a button prefix just because I want to get you guys used to doing this. Should be using prefixes more often. A lot of programmers do not use prefixes. Okay. So, I could go ahead and just copy and paste this here. Excuse me, why can I not click? There we go. Okay, so I have from zero, one, two and three. That's four buttons with starting at index of zero. So what we're going to do here is go into the code window and just bring up the form load. Again, hit this combo box form and it brings the load. And what we're going to do here is start using this. Now, there's different ways to do this. Um, you can add more buttons of the same name with with the control array by loading and then you could remove buttons by unloading. Um, why is this a little bit helpful or why is this different? Well let's say your program right here only has four buttons and you could give them different names. Sure you could make them still usable by that way. But let's say you're programming something that you don't know how many buttons are going to be on the screen. You're making some objects or something. That's where the control array comes in um, because you can use the same button name but keep adding more buttons on the screen. What we call, I guess, elements. But uh, I'm going to go here ahead and show you. So we'll use. I'm just going to write control array to try to remind people. Now to use these, it's almost like using an array. Um, we know we have from 0, 1, 2, and 3, which is four buttons. So right now I could just put 0.caption equals high. And when I run the program, that caption on this one right here, this button, is going to be high. If I wanted this one to be, it'd be 1, or 2, or 3. Um, so we can use that loop that I had showed before we can do we need the declare first right above it
and go ahead and loop with it. We can do 1 to 4, which is the same as going from 4 cycles, or we can do 0 to 3, again, which is 4 cycles. Um, we could, I believe, even use negative numbers in this case, but what we want to do here is usually if you're going to use control arrays again you'll want to show 